Good afternoon, everybody at Cedar Field. How is everyone doing today? As you can see, we're in a new location. We are coming to you from the club room um, over near Prima. Um, so we're being flexible today and trying out some new things. Um, anyway, we're glad you're here if you're joining us. Um, I just wanted to remind you, um, we are still obviously streaming this live if you're watching that know that but we are also recording the show now and putting it on the my cedar field website and app so uh, if you are a faithful viewer and you miss an episode or two you can always go back and watch it there um, you can access the videos through just regular YouTube as well because that's ultimately where they end up um, on our YouTube channel so um, we have been doing it for a couple of weeks now so there's a few episodes out there um, and we'll keep doing it and we'll build up a, a whole little channel there. So maybe we'll go viral one day. Who knows? <laughs> anyway, let's jump right into our topic. Um, we are crossing our fingers that no one has a meeting in here today. <laughs> so um, we might have an interruption. Hopefully we won't. I think we'll be okay. Anyway, um, so today I'm going to talk about supplements. So I'm sure that you all have um, heard the word supplement and that means a lot of different things to a lot of different people so in the nutrition world uh, you know a supplement can be a simple multivitamin it can be um, an individual supplement for a specific vitamin or mineral some people refer to supplements as uh, like boost or ensure and those types of nutritional supplement drinks there are lots of those teas and powders or protein powders, even fiber supplements, all of these things kind of fall under the umbrella of supplements. So we're going to hash through a couple of those things and talk about, you know, are they necessary? Are they a waste of money? Are they worth your, you know, your money or whatever um, worth using? So let's kind of dive into that. All right. So as I was saying, there's all kinds of things that we talk about or think of when we think of supplements. Vitamins, minerals, multivitamins, herbal supplements, protein shakes, energy drinks, miracle this, cure for that, detoxes, you name it, they're all out there. They're all expensive. It's a huge industry. And I'm here to tell you the bottom line is a lot of these things are probably a waste of money. <laughs> um, and we'll kind of go through some of the reasons why. As a dietitian, I feel, you know, like I have to say the biggest reason why is that one, food is the ultimate supplement. It's not even a supplement. Like food should be our first and foremost go-to for all of our nutrients, our vitamins, our minerals, fiber, water, etc. Um, so if you are eating a good, well-balanced, healthy diet where you're striving to get five to seven servings of fruits and vegetables every day, whole grains, lean proteins, healthy fats, you probably don't need a supplement. You're getting everything you need through food. Um, also, we have uh, organs in our bodies that are in charge of detoxing or cleansing our system. You hear that a lot in the, uh, in the supplement world. Um, when you go into some of these you know, GNC store type stores, uh, things like that. A lot of people are, you see on Facebook or the internet a lot about detoxing, you know, detox, whatever. We have kidneys and we have a liver and that is their job, one of their jobs. They have a lot of jobs, but they are in charge of detoxing toxins and things that our bodies don't need and get rid of them when we go to the bathroom. So as long as your liver and your kidneys are functioning pretty well, your body is taking care of the detox. So you really don't need to buy into one of these detox programs or fast or anything like that. All right, so with that being said, as we get older, as our bodies age, um, sometimes the need for supplements does arrive um, as you know things start to change. So as we get older, we do have a tendency to absorb nutrients less and less. So that um, absorption rate for vitamins and minerals changes. Also, um, the 
the stomach acid production in our bodies change, it decreases uh, kind of naturally, but then also if you've, you know, over the years you've taken a lot of um, like Tums or, um, you know, uh, like PPIs and all of those things that you might take for indigestion and things like that, or heartburn, sometimes that can affect stomach acid production. Um, and there are some vitamins and minerals that rely on that stomach acid uh, for absorption. So when you're making less stomach acid, then you're not absorbing those vitamins as well, particularly some of the B vitamins like B12, iron, B6. Um, also, vitamin D is just a really difficult vitamin to get naturally through food. Mo a lot of people are deficient and especially older adults and then obviously we know calcium is so important to maintain our bone health. Um, so some of those um, vitamins and minerals are pretty common um, for the need to supplement as an older adult. So again, that's things like calcium, vitamin D especially, um, and some of the B vitamins. Um, so that is something to consider. Now, if you really think that you are, you know, not eating as well as you could, um, or you're maybe finding you might have some gaps in your nutritional health, then most of the time a simple multivitamin is gonna have you covered. Um, so if, you know, I would not hesitate to recommend a multivitamin to an older adult. That's pretty common that they might need something just to kind of fill in the gaps. And that's um, common and, you know, any old multivitamin you can find at CVS or Walgreens are usually fine. Um, you don't necessarily need to, you know, spend a ton of money or focus on organic or whatever. Um, just something basic is usually good and it's going to cover most of your bases. Um, and then they have some that are specifically um, designed for people who are over certain ages, like 50, 65, etc. So you might consider something like that. All right, so another issue is weight loss. Um, if you are someone who's experiencing unintentional weight loss, which is fairly common as we get older um, for a lot of different reasons, but you know, it's something that I deal with a lot with the residents here in healthcare um, or even just people out independent living, um, it's pretty common. So if you are someone that is experiencing some weight loss, um, certainly, a multivitamin might be beneficial um, if you're losing weight because you're not eating as much um, or maybe you have some sort of a disease process or something's going on um, you might have some nutrient deficiency so a multivitamin might be helpful for you I would also recommend one of those nutritional shakes that we talked about earlier or drinks something like an Ensure or a Boost um, or even a carnation instant breakfast, which is pretty common out there, because those are pretty well balanced as far as fortified with vitamins and minerals, and then also the macronutrients like carbohydrates, protein, and fat. So they're kind of, they're not kind of, they are. They're designed specifically to kind of provide a, you know, a well balanced uh, nutrition, you know, supplement for you. Um, to make sure you're getting all of the, you know, the wide spectrum of things that you need. And a lot of times they have extra fiber in them. Um, they have some that are designed for people with diabetes who might need to control their carbs. They even have some um, for people who might have kidney disease or things like that. So kind of do your research or if you have questions, I can kind of help you find the right one for you. Okay. Um, so one thing to keep in mind, another need for um, supplements might arise. I mean, again, we have just kind of sometimes a general need for a multivitamin or something, but you might have a very specific disease process that might be causing a deficiency in a certain nutrient or several nutrients. Um, you know, anemia is a common one, or uh, I don't know. Um, that's the first one that comes to mind, but also some medications you might be taking could interfere with the absorption of certain um, vitamins or minerals. So that's something to consider as well. So these are very specific situations where you might need to take um, a supplement and probably a very specific supplement. So there are 
Sometimes there are signs and symptoms that are outward. Maybe it's uh, something you know on your skin or whatever that's kind of a sign of a specific nutrient deficiency. Um, but there also might be some lab work that your doctor can do to determine if you are in fact nutrient deficient. So if that is the case, if you suspect that, or if your doctor suspects that, they will certainly diagnose you with that nutrient deficiency and um, help you to figure out what specific vitamin or supplement you need to be taking. All right, um, so let's move on to um, talk about some of these herbal supplements that are out there. So there are, if you've ever been to that section in Walgreens or CVS, or if you go into Whole Foods, there are just, there's a whole wall of all these herbal supplements out there. Um, and I'm talking about things like Echinacea, or St. John's Wort, or I don't know, there's all kinds of things. Um, so, and then there are some that are like teas or other supplements that are maybe a mixture of several of these herbs. Um, and a lot of them are marketed as a cure, some kind of miracle cure for um, insomnia or glucose, you know, blood glucose control or weight loss, uh, you know, all kinds of, or detox like we were talking about earlier. There are all kinds of things out there um, that these supplement manufacturers put out there as some sort of a miracle cure. So I would be very um, leery about these types of supplements. Now I'm not here to tell you that none of them work. Um, we're all different and things affect us in different ways. But I am here to tell you that those herbal supplements, now I'm not talking necessarily, well, these herbal supplements, um, they're not regulated in the same way that our prescription medication is. So our prescription medication is regulated through the FDA um, or at the end, like the USDA and the FDA, and there are very rigorous tests and standards and regulations that they have to meet. Um, and we've heard a lot about that recently with the COVID vaccination. You know, that whole process that medications go through to get approval by the FDA, that's not necessarily the case with herbal supplements. Those manufacturers of the supplements are um, responsible for determining the safety and efficacy of their product, but they don't have to meet any kind of standards. They just have to prove that it's generally safe for you, uh, but they don't necessarily have to prove that it does anything. They can make claims all they want, uh, but these claims are not verified by any type of regulation, regulating body. Um, so just consider that if, you know, if someone out there tells you, you know, I took this and it worked for me, it really helped X, Y, Z problem in my body, um, you know, do your research or ask some questions, ask your doctor, um, get on the website of the manufacturer and see what kind of research they have to, you know, to prove whatever claims they're making. Um, I can tell you that for the most part, they're probably... I wouldn't say necessarily falsified. I mean, they might be, but they might be exaggerations. So keep that in mind. I think a lot of times we fall into what's considered the placebo effect. That, you know, you're making this conscious change for something because you're really looking for relief for your arthritis or weight loss solution or something like that. And you really want something to work. And you went out and you spent $40 on this bottle of pills. So your mind's going to kind of trick you into thinking this is working for me when it might not really be. It might just, like I said, it might just be kind of a trick. Or maybe you've started drinking more water, you know, when you're taking that supplement. Or maybe you're taking the weight loss supplement, but you're also changing your diet or you're getting more exercise. So it's always hard to know if that supplement is really truly working for you or if it's just kind of a, you know, a little mental game that your, uh, your mind is playing with you. So another thing to consider is that there is some valid uh, research and surveys out there that the FDA does. Um, so they have a list of almost a thousand products labeled as dietary supplements that contain one or more undisclosed hidden ingredients. So that has become a 
a big problem that a lot of watchdog companies are finding out is they're, do, they're digging deeper into some of these supplement products and finding out that um, you know there's either a hidden ingredient in there or what's in there is not what they're claiming is actually in there. So again, you know, buyer beware when you're on that, you know, on that aisle in Walgreens or Whole Foods or whatever. Um, if you go with some like trusted brand names, I'm not gonna, you know, drop names, <laughs> um, but some of the more trusted brand names, especially again for just simple multivitamins, those are usually, you know, I wouldn't worry about those. It's kind of when you're getting into some of these herbal supplements or, you know, like I said, the ones that are claiming some sort of miracle, miracle cure or whatever, those are the ones you gotta be a little more cautious about. So the moral of the story, if you take anything away from this, is to talk to your doctor before you start any kind of supplement, whether it's just a simple multivitamin or some sort of a weight loss supplement or whatever, talk to your doctor because you never know um, what might interfere with some medications you're taking or maybe a disease process you have um, and you don't want to you know, rock the boat in that regard. You want to make sure everything, your medications are working as effectively as they need to be. All right, so if, you know, another bottom line is if it sounds too good to be true with some of these you know, supplements, it probably is. Um, so don't you know, get caught up into the placebo thing. But again, you know, don't let this whole conversation turn you away from the need, from the true need for a vitamin or mineral supplement if you do have a deficiency or if you're having problems um, due to some sort of a disease state um, to, with absorbing nutrients and things like that. So have a conversation with your doctor if you think you need some sort of supplement. Um, and decide together if it's right for you, and they might even be able to recommend certain brands or um, that they know are trusted or not. So, um, you know, and if you are taking a supplement, or you are, you know, there is some product that you swear by, like I said, everybody's different. And if it's working for you, that's great. As long as it's not doing any harm, and, you know, kind of unbeknownst to you, but it's helping you lose a few pounds or control your appetite or keeping your blood sugar regulated, or relieving your arthritis pain or anything, then that's fine. Again, just make sure the product you're taking is safe. It's not causing any long-term problems. Um, but, you know, as a dietitian, again, I have to jump on board with that notion that the best multivitamin out there is just to get what you need and your vitamins and your nutrients and your minerals and everything through food, right? Food and good fluids and hydration and that's the key. So again, if you have any questions about, um, you know, whether you might need a supplement and what might be right for you, um, then you're always happy, welcome to come and talk to me. Um, I'd be happy to kind of talk through, maybe steer you in the right direction and answer some of your questions. All right, so that wraps up for today. No one interrupted our show, so that's good. Um, who knows where we'll be next week, but I am planning to do the show. <laughs> Um, can't guarantee what room we're going to be in, but we should be on your TV screen or on the app. Um, so look for us there, um, and I'll be looking forward to seeing you too. All right, have a great day. Bye.